All right, so today we're going to talk about um, how you can sync uh, send in blue with and charge and pretty much actually create a uh, paid newsletter. Uh, you don't need and charge, it's just I had those two uh, lifetime deal tools. Uh, and charge does not allow to create landing pages, send in blue does allow to create landing pages, so that's why I use both lifetime deals. Uh, or both platform actually uh, for that. Um, so we're gonna start right away and I'll show you how I set up the whole thing. So first thing first, I created a, um, a list uh, called newsletter in Send in Blue. And then I went into landing pages and I created landing page. So the landing page I created was for a guide um, and then in the guide, you know, in the page, uh, let me show you more the, 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 the final, like, the final page, you have like the form and then on the form, like, you know, you enter the details, email, phone number, you accept and then subscribe to the newsletter. Then once this is, once this is done, you are redirected after uh, filling the form to this page. So you're pretty much choosing if you want to pay. Uh, like what? It, well, like if you want to pay daily, monthly, or yearly, or if you just don't want to have access to the page newsletter and you continue. Um, so the trick here is that the first form submits the person and adds the person to the list, so to the list newsletter. So what happened is from the moment that the person filled the form, it's added, and then once the person decides to pay, that's kind of an addition. That's like a, another step that you add. So. Um, with Stripe, uh, the beauty of this is that you can create a payment link. Show you how to access the, uh, the payment links. So what you what you do, you go in products, and then you create a new product, and then you uh, create a pricing. So you have uh, all of the pricing here. We have created the newsletter in English and French, so that's why there's like six prices. Um, so what you do um, once you have, you know, added a pricing for the product there's normally a place where you click on like create a new payment link, then you have the payment link here. And then, you know, you just um, click on that here and then you have your payment link here. Um, so that link is the one that was used for this button here. Um, and then once you click on it, it directs you to the payment link uh, and then the person pays. And then once the person has paid, it redirects the person to the thank you page. So independently of if the person uh, pick a paid newsletter or just decide to go with just a free newsletter, it will redirect that person if that person clicks on one of those button after the payment, or if that person clicks on the link here, it will direct the person to the thank you uh, page. Then, what you want to do is you want to set up in send in blue, you go in, you know, settings here, and then you add a webhook. And the webhook, the trigger that you want to add is uh, contact added to a list or contact updated. So if you check here, that's th those are the two that you need to, to check here. Once this is done, uh, you go in send in blue. Pretty much the, the step I just showed you are the steps that are kind of written here. So you copy paste the link, if I go back, you'll see you have like the link here. You have added that from Pably. And then um, you, every time that someone is, um, in, is added to a list or is updated, it will trigger this, um, this link. And then what you do, you get the, the, the details of the person. So the reason why you want to get the details of the person is you want to know what were the, the information that they have filled. So for example, in the form, um, in the landing page here, there is a hidden input that is called language. And then that's where I would set EN for English, FR for French. And that's what you get here. That's the uh, language that you get here. And then the list ID is three. So that's really important to get that, inform that, that information because then we're, that's like this information for us to differentiate English and French as a newsletter was really important for us. And you'll see a bit later on why. And then once you have uh, the detail of the person from 
uh, from uh, send in blue we are sending to end charge through they have a uh, functionality here um well, probably if you uh what you can use but the way i used it is with webhooks so in my flow what i did i did receive webhooks then they give you a url which is the url is here then they give you the email and the language i mean you enter the sorry you enter the value that you want to to send to um to in charge the the minimum one you, the minimum that you need to, to send is the email but i am i'm sending email and language and then once this is then uh, sent it pretty much goes in it will trigger this um this webhook and you can see the history here you can see like i've mapped the field name email um and then yeah so that's that's what you want to send uh as a uh, as detail and then once you have that you're pretty much able to uh then uh go to the other step because like this first step here all of these steps um sending from send in blue to and charge is just for the free newsletter so we're just sending the data from the newsletter so actually i i showed you the wrong flow um the other flow is um is a bit different there we go so that was the the right flow um that's where you can see um just email language that makes more sense now <laughs> sorry about that so that yeah that flow goes there so that's that's that flow is just to send the free newsletter detail on in charge and then on in in charge you can then decide okay language was english then add a tag uh free english and then send a newsletter so that's how you kind of sync your uh, users from send in blue to uh to in charge to have more advanced um you know flow or drip campaign and then um when if we go back to the the payment form for those that decides to pay so the person wants pay on on the, on stripe and then we do the same thing we go in we, we receive uh the, the webhook details from uh from uh, from stripe you can see here that the um the webhook um oops it was from oops wrong one the, the, the webhook was for uh, Pabli here. And then um, you basically have this here. So you're able to, to receive, Stripe is going to uh, trigger this webhook from Pabli and it's going to trigger for every time, be triggered every time that there's a new subscription created. And then in the new subscription, that's going to trigger this, uh, this flow. And uh, this flow will basically send all of the, all of the details of a user. So name, uh, transaction details, uh, price, product, uh, et cetera. And then with that, you retrieve the customer ID of, um, I mean, the customer details based on the ID. It's because when you when you, when you have a transaction, it doesn't send the, the, the details of the customer, it just send a detail of the transaction. So you want to know, okay, who which customer was it? And then you're able to retrieve that here with Stripe. And then once this is done, there's a filter to know, okay, is it one of those products? Was it, uh, if I go back, was it one of those six products that we have here? Uh, the ID, the app, the API ID is the one, those that are here in the middle here. So I'm pretty much filtered all of those here. Is it equal to this one? Is it equal to this one? If yes, continue. And then um, if it passed uh, one of those, if it was one of those um, product ID, because there's always an or here, it goes into the routing. So if it's in English, I'll go here and then it'll continue only if the language was set to uh, EN for the product, the description, because as you remember, I have EN here, I have EFR uh, FR here. And then what will happen is that will send an API uh, webhook that will trigger the webhook and end charge. 
So that will trigger this one. That was the right one. And that is where we send the name and the email because with Stripe, we had the name and the email and the language was already set in the beginning in the other flow, in this flow here. Because if you remember, if I circle back to uh, how it was set up, is you fill the form independently of if you get if you click on one if you click on one of those buttons to go to the paid version or if you click on on here for the moment that you fill this form you are triggering this first workflow here because someone have been added someone have filled the form someone have been added to a list because as again as you know um, the form is linked to a list here so that being said um, the form is, is filled, the contact is added to a list, the, um, that triggers the flow to add the person to the free newsletter. And then it, we add a tag free, we add a tag uh, also, uh, we, we set the, the, the field language to the language that was set uh, in, um, in the form, so EN or FR. So that you get the contact detail have this language kind of variable. And then if the person have purchased, it will trigger the flow that I just shown you. And then it will validate, is it like, it will retrieve the, 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 the customer detail. It will validate, is it one of those products that I wanted to have that flow to run for, uh, which is those, again, if, again, those products, those newsletters products. And then it will trigger the right webhook within and charge to put that person in the right um, flow. So is it in English, is it in French? And then further on, um, there is, if if you remember in Stripe, I uh, I was showing you another one, another um, URL, you another webhook. There's this one here. This one, what will happen is if, if we go see, you'll see that it's if the subscription is created, updated or, or deleted. So what happened is here, it will pretty much show, okay, if the subscription is past due or if the payment fails, it will send an email. But also, if you look at all the steps, we have basically it sends an email and then it will wait X amount of days before sending the other email. But before sending the other email, we will check if there's a tag payment fail or not. And if there's a tag payment fail, we're not going to continue to the next one and then so on and so forth. And this like this uh, verification of if the payment has failed is always sent. So that way we're able to make sure that we're not sending the next drip email if the person have not paid um, its subscription. So that is how the entire uh, flow to create a paid newsletter uh, from send in blue to create a landing page to end charge to have a more advanced um, flow planification or flow structure. Uh, running that all, running all of this through Stripe payment links and probably um, connect to uh, to make it all work in the back end. That's it. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me or comment in the um, below. Or if you want to see more uh, videos in the future, subscribe to the, the channel. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.